things above me. The things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name. I'm all over the place, I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. Still finding myself, let alone so late, I'm just saying. Feel like we wanted to say my relationship changed. That I would never exist. Whenever they say something about us, you listen. Talking about all your time get some food and see what the day brings. this place farm table kitchen and spirits we came here like what was that three or four years ago uh, no maybe like two years ago like two years ago and we had this braised short rib grilled cheese well she had it i tasted it it was so good all right guys what are we doing here? we're going with the short rib sandwich yes braised uh, oh the grilled cheese yes got it two yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, you're both gonna side with that. I wanna have fries. Fries? So I'm gonna do fries, and then I wanna do a single mac and cheese. You got it. A single mac and cheese. Hello, you got it? Yeah, that's it, thank you. Yeah, so like I was saying, we got that a few years ago, and as soon as we knew we were coming to Vegas, we're like, we have to go there. And we forgot the name of the place, and we looked it up, and we're here. <laughs> So it's in Vegas, it's in the like town square, town center or something. And then they also have bottomless um, drinks. So you can do Bellinis, Mimosas, Sangria, or Bloody Marys, and you can mix and match what you want. So I got the Mimosa, and she got the Bellini. This is what it looks like. I have like a little cherry in it. Right, I feel like they had a little something different in it last time. Yeah, last time I think you said that they have like three made um, ones. I feel like she made this one. Because um, the cherry is messing with the flavor of the bellini. Yeah, this is pretty good. I might switch it. Yeah, so we're about to eat and chit chat, and I'll show you guys when the food comes. Yes, she did. Do this all the time. 
So I'm back at the airport getting ready to head home and I am in the Centurion Lounge. Um, I think I talked about this on the podcast, or not on the podcast, Lord Mercy. I think I talked about this on the vlog before, but if you are a Platinum Amex card holder, you get access to airport lounges all over, and that is one of the perks of having a card. But this is my first time at the Las Vegas location. It's actually really nice. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm not trying not to talk really loud, but um, yeah, so I decided to come to the airport early so I could check out the lounge and enjoy the amenities. Um, a few of the amenities, um, they have restrooms, they have um, places that you can sit. I'm sitting like in this little cubby area. Um, so yeah, it's like a little sitting area. I'll show you guys a, a better view in a minute. Um, and they also have food. So whether you come for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, they always have some type of meal. Um, it's complimentary cocktails. Um, juices, soft drinks, whatever. Also, like desserts, you know, water, pretty much where, whatever you need. Um, so, I decided to come to the airport a couple hours early so I can enjoy it. So, I just got to show you guys my setup really quick. In the little area I'm sitting in, they have the outlet so you can charge your phone or your devices. Um, this is what I got. They had like Mediterranean style food. I just got a little bit of everything so you guys can see. I'm not gonna eat the chicken because I don't really eat chicken anymore, but I just got it so you guys can see. Um, it doesn't actually doesn't look that great. But this little pasta salad is really good. I also got like a side salad, some shishito peppers and cookie on the side. And then I got a lemon drop for my drink. And then I also tr am trying a pineapple agua fresca. That's really good. Um, yeah. And so over there, if no one's sitting there, I'll show you guys really quick. But there's little cubbies over there, seating area over here. Um, and then they have the departures up there so you can keep an eye on your flight. We got TVs to watch and it's just really nice. So yeah, that's my little area. I'm trying to be discreet y'all. So <laughs> I'm not talking super loud and um, not doing the most, but I'll try to show you guys a little bit more when I leave. But yeah, I'm about to sit here and just enjoy my, I don't have to board my flight for another two hours. So I'm going to edit the vlog that goes out tomorrow and I'm just gonna chill out. for me to go board my flight so I'm going to try and just take you guys around a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like in here I'm gonna try to be discreet so don't judge my ankles okay let's go so there is the bar area have tea but then they have flavors for the try. Hey guys, so this past weekend, I went to Las Vegas for the Jams 
a cheer competition. My goddaughter was participating in the competition. Her very first one, so I had to be there. Um, we had a ball. We didn't do much in Vegas because we were there with children. <laughs> So, um, I just got a couple of clips of what I could. So now I am back home and today I'm going to be running a few errands. I need to go get my eyebrows done. I need to go to the grocery store and I am sitting in my new car. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour of my car and you guys are going to help me get it all organized and set up with all the little goodies that I bought just to keep my car nice and clean and organized. But first, we gotta go get these eyebrows done because they are terrible, honey. So let's go. So I feel like I was just speed racer just now because I went to get my eyebrows done and I looked up and it was already like way past um, 11 and I needed to be back at the school by uh, 12. <laughs> so I literally got my eyebrows done and was like supermarket sweep in the grocery store like just throwing stuff in the basket and i made it here at 12:06. he gets out at 12:15. so i was like oh i got like a couple minutes just to talk to y'all real quick so um if you guys watch the previous vlog then you guys will see that bryson started school my three-year-old son he started school preschool um but after his first day um his nose was running and so his nose had already been running for a while but at another program that he was in they didn't really care about running noses or whatever because they didn't want the kids to miss out on the program but here they're pretty strict about the kids being sick which I appreciate because that means when my child is not sick he won't have to be around other sick children and possibly get sick from them so they told him don't bring him back to his nose not running no more <laughs> So he only went to school one day last week. Um, and then we took him to the doctor. The doctor said that he was his not his uh, sinuses were really inflamed. So they gave him some medication and it dried up. Um, he still has to take the medication, but the sinus infection has kind of like resolved for the most part. So he's back at school. So this is his first day back. He did pretty good with the transition this morning. My husband dropped the kids off. So the way we do it is we just, we both get up and he gets one kid ready. I get the other kid ready and then pack lunches, all that. And then he takes them to school and then I do pick up. So, excuse me. So he sent me a picture this morning that everything was fine. Vehicle exit assist affected. Be careful while exiting vehicle. Girl, this new car. It got so many bells and whistles. It's constantly talking to me. I'm like, girl, shut up. What are you talking about? Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, he did pretty good uh, this morning. He kind of was like whimpering, but he didn't cry. So, that was good. Um, yeah, so I'm here to pick him up now. And then we're going to go. I believe I still need to go to Trader Joe's for something. Yeah, I'm going to go get some salmon from Trader Joe's. Um, so we'll probably go do that and then we'll go home and then it's going to be an hour later. It's going to be time to pick up Kenden. So this is what my days are going to look like pretty much now. Um, I got quite a bit done this morning at home though. Got some laundry done. You guys know I just came back from a trip. So I had to unpack, um, throw the laundry in, get everything cleaned and then, um, talk to my friend, um, got a little work done and then i was out the house so i'm enjoying this new um stay-at-home mom life while the kids are at school my hair is a mess y'all like don't even don't even look at it okay i need to wash it so i was gonna put a hat on but i couldn't find it anyway i'm rambling at this point i'm about to get him and then we're gonna head to trader joe's it's really windy today so we'll see if i take y'all in or not but um yeah that's our day so far. I got the stuff. So I need to get a taller tripod because I always have to bend down when I talk to you guys. My tri tripod is not that big. Anyway, um, I just got back from Trader Joe's. I'm just going to show you guys really quickly what I got. I didn't get too many things um, because it's already going to be time to go pick up my older son now. Like the, the time goes by so fast like once i get my three-year-old have like an hour and then it's time to go back to the school to pick up 
my other son. Anyway, so the first thing I got was a new cold bag. <laughs> I picked up another cold bag just because they come in handy. I also use, um, as you guys saw when I put the groceries in the trunk, that I already had some stuff in there because I use these bags for whatever store I go to. Because they're convenient, they fit nicely in the car, just easy to use. So the first thing that I got, you guys know they're back doing like the tastings at the store where you can like try their new items or whatever. So they were sampling these maple pancake flavored puffs and they actually taste pretty good. They kind of taste like um, Honey Smack cereal, like the flavoring, or like um, oh, like uh, the French toast, French toast crunch, like cinnamon toast crunch, but the French toast, French toast crunch. Why is that a tongue twister? Anyway, um, they kind of taste like that. Delicious. So I picked these up just to see if the kids like them. Um, they're vegan and gluten free. Um, made with maple syrup. And it's only four grams of sugar, so it's not that bad. I got that. And then one of my regular items, I got the uh, Organic Baby Spring Mix. I also got these rolled corn tortilla chips with the chili lime flavor. I was at my cousin's house and she was like, try these, they're so good. And I tried them and they kind of taste like Takis, but without all the extra like red dye and artificial flavoring and coloring and all that stuff. Um, I read the back just to see if they had like red dye number four and they don't. So if your kids like Takis, get them some of these just to kind of try out and see if they prefer. Um, or if these will suffice because hockeys are terrible. Let's just say it. They're terrible for you. They're terrible for your kids. So I think that's a cool alternative. I wouldn't eat those all the time either, but they're good. I got some avocados because I've been loving avocado toast lately. So I do like the avocado with the grape tomato, um, red onion, um, sometimes I'll put arugula if I have some. Why is the refrigerator loud? <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I'll put arugula if I have it. Um, and then I also add like feta, feta cheese to the top. The next thing I got, I think I showed you guys in the store, these peanut tate Thai noodles. I think these are good like lunch options. It's a pretty good portion in here so my husband and I can share. Um, but yeah. There's no, I don't believe there's any meat in it. It's just like veggies and sauce pretty much. Um, yeah, but if you're allergic to peanuts, of course you cannot have this, but it looks delicious. So I'm gonna try it. And then they also have the garlic sauce flavor. So this will also be good to throw in like some shrimp. So I got those two. And then I just got the turkey breast that I always get and some salmon. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my quick little Trader Joe's haul. Now I'm going to put all these things away and going to go ahead to get Kendon. Let's go. Mommy on the run. So I am back home. All of the kids have been picked up. Everything has been collected. <laughs> so like I told you guys earlier, I did get a new car. Um, I have a lease, so we trade in our car, my car every three years. So I have the... Lexus RX, um, I don't know if it's RX 350. I'm not, I'm not really into cars like that. I don't know. But I have a Lexus RX, like a little SUV. And it's a 2023, all the bells and whistles. It's like the premium package or whatever. So I absolutely love it. Like, so high tech. Hold on, here comes Kenya. So yes, like I said, um, I got a new car. It is a Lexus RX um, 2023, and it is the platinum or premium package. I think that's what they said. Um, hold on, this is gonna bother me. I hate when the microwave is not cleared. But anyways, um, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna show you guys the car, give you a quick little overview, but I'm what I am really excited about is the organization of the car. So I have two small children. Well, they're not that small, but I have two children 
And you guys know with kids getting out of the car, things get so messy, disorganized, and just a mess. So this go around, every time I get a new car, I'm like, we're gonna keep it clean, we're gonna keep it clean. And my car is never like trashed, but you know, the kids get in with their snacks and like it just becomes a mess. So this go around, I wanted to make sure that we kind of set ourselves up for success. So I went on Amazon and I purchased some organizational slash things that will help us kind of keep the car clean. So I'm show you guys what I got and then we'll go outside and I'll show you guys the car and everything. But I absolutely love the car. Um, it has some really cool uh, features that I enjoy. Um, last time my car was white and so I really was adamant about having a black car so I got black. I really wanted a sunroof so I got that. They did not have a panoramic sunroof available but I do have a sunroof or moonroof whatever you guys call it. And um, it just has like some really cool features. So I'm really enjoying the car. I've only gotten to drive it like a day because the day after I got the car I went out of town. So I haven't been able to drive it that much, but I drove it all day today and yesterday. So I really love the car. But like I said, I ordered some things from Amazon, but first I did order some household items from Amazon as well. So I got this uh, wrap organizer. This holds like your foil and your saran wrap. I just got the two because I usually just use foil or saran wrap. Sometimes I use parchment paper, but it wasn't a big deal. This was on sale, so I grabbed this. I think it was like $20. I think it's normally like $36 or something like that. Also, not a car essential, but I did order some new Nespresso pods for my Nespresso. You guys know I love my Nespresso. And we just get the Double Espresso Chiro. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that is the flavor that we get. And um, really enjoyed this. So I got the three packs. So we'll go ahead and um, replenish those. And then I also got these Plink Garbage Disposal Freshener Cleaner. If you guys follow, I think her name is Operation Nikki on Instagram and TikTok. She is has heavily influenced me. <laughs> um, I love watching her cleaning videos. I'm not sure if she has a YouTube channel. I have to check that out. But I love watching her cleaning videos and she also always um, plugs like some really cool items. So I always see her drop these in her sink after she cleans them. So I grabbed some of these to try out. And now we're gonna move on to the car organization. All of this car stuff is also influenced by Nikki. Hey girl. <laughs> so I got the trash can. This is gonna be essential um, with the kids. I'm really not sure how it hooks up. Um, so we're gonna figure that out. It says it also can be a cooler for drinks. It says multifunction use, trash can, cooler for drinks, car organizer, and so on. So that's really cool. It has a space at the top where if you want to drop in water bottles. Um, yeah, so let's open this up. So I'm really curious as to how it's going to attach. So it looks like it has some straps here and a hook at the bottom. So we'll see how that works. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep this because now that I just thought about it, um, on the back of the center console where this normally would go, there are control panels there. So I don't know if that's gonna work. Maybe I'll find another place to put it in the car, but yeah, this is the trash can. It's really nice though, well made. Uh, it's insulated, so like they say, you can use it for a cooler, which is really nice. It has pockets on the side, a pocket in the front, and a pocket on this side. And then this is the lid that it looks like it just Velcros to the top, like so, and then you can, uh, take this part out. If you wanna use it as a cooler, I think you leave this part in. But if you're gonna use it as a trash can, you take that out and then put it on top and you can put trash inside. So I thought this was really cool. And then I also got this little thing for your change. So you open it up like so and you can put all of your coins here. So 
just keeps your coins organized and you can sit this in your center console or on the door or wherever you want. So I thought this was nice and you just push the coins down in there. So got that and then I also got these little, uh, I don't know what they're called actually, car cup coasters. So you're gonna put this inside of where your cup holder is so that like if you put any drinks in there and like you know how you have spills, it gets all sticky. This is gonna prevent that because you can pop these out and clean them. Genius. Got that. This, you guys, I'm literally unboxing this with you. I don't know what is what. This is actually for my computer. I got an HDMI cord. I told y'all, I was just ordering stuff, okay? Stuff that I needed, I was just dropping it in the cart. I think this is a car item. Let's see what this is. Oh. So this is the hook for the back of your, or the front of your, um, where your headrests are, you can like hook this onto the chair, onto the seat, and then you can hang your purse or your diaper bag or whatever you need to hang. You can go ahead and hang that on the seat. So I thought this was cool just to keep it organized and your purse isn't just like flying everywhere. So there's three of them in here. I thought it was just two, but there's three. So I thought that was cool. Got those. And then the last thing is the big boy. This, I'll probably show you guys once I fill it up and put it in the car, but this is for your trunk. It's the trunk organizer. It has all the compartments that you'll need for your extra clothes, your diapers, wipes, snacks. If you wanna put an emergency kit back there, I keep everything in my car. I keep an umbrella, a blanket, extra clothes for the kids, snacks um my grocery bag so all of that will be nice and neatly in here so i'm really excited for that so i'm going to all of my stuff that was in my old car is in the closet so i'm gonna go grab that stuff fill this up and then we're gonna go to the car and see how everything works out i would like to get to know if i could be the kind of girl that you could be down for So this is my new car and I just put a couple of the things that I bought for organizational purposes. I, like I showed you guys, I put the coins in here. Try to put things where it makes sense for me. <laughs> so I put the coins in here. I really like the feature um, in the car. Let me turn the car on for you guys. Turn it on. Something that I didn't have in my last car that I really appreciate about this car is that um, you can do your seat settings because when my husband got in the car, he always moved my seat and I hated it. <laughs> so I like that they have that feature. Um, also from my older car, on my previous car, they didn't have the full screen here. So I do like that. One thing that I forgot to order was the... Um, why does the screen look like? Why is it not connected to my 
um, Spotify. I don't know. That's weird. Anyways, uh, one thing that I forgot to get was the squeegee for the screen. So I'm going to get that. And I'm also going to get the little magnetic thing that takes all the lint off. Because as you guys can see, I do have like the little shiny um, detailing that I want to make sure that I try to keep as clean as possible. I think something is going on with the internet by my house right now because nothing is loading. So that's weird. But yes, I did that. And then I also put in these little uh, coasters to kind of keep that area nice and clean. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. They have the outlets for the new iPhone in here to charge your phone and you can close that area up. Um, what else did I add? This is the little mat that I bought for my camera to sit on the dash. Um, I might put it here because if I put it back here, it's going to be a little too low. So I don't want to do that. Oh, but what I was trying to say was you could charge your phone right here. So my old car did not have that feature. So I like that. And then this is just the center console. You can open it from either side. Nothing too fancy there. I put the trash can right here, but I think I'm actually going to order a different trash can because let me go to the back and show you guys why. So I forgot that the car actually has um, controls here, so I don't want to cover that up. So I could either put the trash can in the middle because the trash can is for the boys anyway, or I can get a different trash can to put up front um, over there. So I might just do that. Another thing that I got to protect the car, because as you guys can see, the boys are already kicking the seats and stuff so i bought these little mats to put on the back of the seat i need to get the steamer to get the wrinkles out but it's easy to wash off so i can just get a wipe and clean that off um so that they're not just kicking the seats um so got those so we also got the seat covers to go underneath the car seats um this is a rear facing car seat so in my previous car the car seat put a dent in the seat because it was kind of puncturing it. I did have mats, but they weren't as thick. You can't really tell, but this one is pretty thick. It has a foam inside, so it should not make a um, mark in the seat. And it has little pockets here. It goes all the way up the back. So Bryson wants to kick his little feet here. He can do that no problem without messing up the car. So these came in a set of two. These also came a set in two. So I'll have everything linked for you guys below. Then right here, we just have like the little purse hook. I do have a pack of four, but I just put one in the car. Look at the Amazon Prime man pulling up. Probably something for me. Um, but yeah, so I only put one purse hook in the car because that's really pretty much all I need. And yeah. As far as the car goes, um, there's a lot of cool features in the car. I haven't really completely learned the car yet. Um, if you guys are interested in a more detailed tour of the car, I guess I could do that if you guys want. Um, but yeah, briefly, um, they do have a feature here where they detect your eyes. So um, if you're kind of like slouching in the car, it'll say driver eyes not detected please sit up so that's a safety measure that they have just to make sure that you are not falling asleep at the wheel so i really like that um you know you have your standard controls for your um temperature but everything is on the screen so i really do like that everything is on the screen also to open the door you're gonna push instead of pull so that's pretty cool and then my favorite feature in my old car, I did not have a sunroof. So I'm so happy that I have a sunroof. Yay! So I wasn't able to get the panoramic roof because they didn't have those available. But I'm happy with my little sunroof. Woo! <laughs> so the last thing that I want to show you guys was my little trunk organizer uh, so I got this because this one everything look so clean and sleek like granted I don't have the stroller in here yet but my stroller is black as well I have this humongous umbrella back here 
um, I don't know what that is. This came with the car. But um, yeah. So here's my trunk organizer. It has a lot of different slots and compartments. You can also make it smaller. Um, and then it opens up and I just have my grocery, um, reusable grocery bags in here. I have a back pillow. Sometimes I get a little back pain. So back pillow. I have um, the insert for the grocery cart. This is what I put in the grocery cart so my son doesn't have to sit on the dirty cart. Then I have like extra clothes and socks and stuff for the kids in there. Um, cleaning supplies, Lysol, a bunch of, you know, car essentials, snacks, things and such. And it just helps me to keep everything organized. Nothing is floating around in the back. I even have like, um, I have sanitary napkins, but <laughs> I have like straws and like extra, like just things that you may need. Okay. It's all in there. And then I can close this up. I don't really know how to do this, but okay, yeah, close that up. And then yeah, it's nice, clean, and organized. Like I said, I have to add my stroller, but that's literally all that goes in my trunk. So I just love this car. Um, keep everything nice and clean and neat. So I'm excited. So yeah, that's my new car. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I was like, I don't care. I don't know if they care to see. Um, um, to know about the car, but I just threw that in for kicks and giggles. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really, um, enjoyed getting the organizational items for the car because I think it's really going to help me to just stay the course, um, and keep the car clean because if things have a place to go, it's easier to keep it organized. So that's my motto. I do that with my home and now doing that with my car. Um, as you guys can see, I don't keep many things in my car, but you know, over time things accumulate with the kids bringing in stuff. One more thing I added, but I forgot to show you guys, was I added two of those bag hooks to the back of my seat so I can put the kids' backpacks on them. Um, so I think that's gonna be helpful as well, just to keep things off the floor and like getting everywhere. So yeah, that was my car organizational little haul slash setup okay i hope you guys enjoyed that um i'm not sure if i'm going to end the vlog here if i'm going to add more so i'll let you guys know i did decide to end the vlog here but i hope you guys enjoyed it love you bye oh.